What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today's video, no, we're not working on the Daytona just yet. Let me get my drink actually, I'm kind of thirsty. So I'm actually in a Ty's shop in Wimberley, Texas. We're actually gonna mess with the cattle like a little bit. It's got a little bit of a noise he's been complaining about. Uh, so I'm thinking it might be something to do with the supercharger. So we're gonna tear into it and see uh, what we find. So let's, got, let's talk to Ty and he can sort of explain what the problem is because I don't really know what it is. And uh, we'll go from there. Man, this car looks good. All right, buddy. I was telling the audience about, um, I don't really know the issue in depth like you do with your car. So maybe you can tell them what we're about to look for and try and fix. No, it's it's a slight like rattle chatter that is only, that's not replicatable. Like, and I can't repeat it over and over again, but it happens when the car gets warmer and it sounds like clutch chatter, but it doesn't, the clutch is strong, like full, doesn't give me any problems. So I don't know, we're gonna see if we can get it to repeat it today. And we're gonna place this isolator bushing in the supercharger, see if that helps, but we'll see. driving the CTSV now after he showed me uh, what it sounded like. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that or not. Shut up. Crouch, crouch view. Swing it. Swing it. But I think it's, um, there it is. Yeah. So I think it's, an exhaust clamp or something touching because you can feel it and I can feel it on my hand when I touch right below my seat. So that's kind of the route we're going with it. Uh, we need to get the car up in the air. Uh, I don't know if we're going to jack it up. Yeah, we got um, jacks. And uh, definitely, because I can feel it, even they're accelerating. So, I mean, yeah. that's annoying. But we're still going to do that supercharger uh, isolator, bushing. isolator bushing. So, let's needs get to do. back to the house so this thing can cool off before we start yeah, <laughs> that's right. on it. All right, sounds good. See that spot up against the frame of the car? You can tell it looks like the exhaust has been hitting it. You can see some heat marks on it. And that looks to be where I think the vibration is coming from. It's the closest spot to the frame of the car. Can you see it right there? Yeah, that's where that bolt, that's where that nut was. Yeah. And so I already removed it. But yeah, I, mean, I don't know if it would still be hitting. Yeah. That means something's loose though. Which is still behind because it never hit before. When did you notice that? Alright, so I'm underneath the Cadillac and right at that point. Wish I could. Right at that point right there. Let me see if you can see it. It looks like where you can see where the uh, exhaust has been vibrating up against the uh, frame of the car. So he's getting some uh, 5 8 sockets and we're going to loosen these up and try to twist the exhaust out the way. So I'm just waiting for him right now. Alrighty, as you can see, we had to drop the entire exhaust to get this piece out. And you can see, I, I tried marking it with a screwdriver because somebody couldn't find a Sharpie. So then, I, uh, I just shaved it down with a uh, screwdriver. And you can see right there where it's all dark and everything and where it looks like it's been hitting, right there. So, we're gonna go old school, hot rod, and beat it to death. 
All right, before you guys start like attacking me and, <laughs> and saying that uh, that's not the right way to do it, I had to, do, I had to do the exact same thing on my Challenger where the exhaust was actually touching the um, transmission brace. So I had to beat in a portion of it to sort of round it out so it wouldn't touch. So we're pretty much trying to do the same thing here so it doesn't touch the frame rail. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do We've it. We've already got the spot marked and you usually want two people. So this is actually perfect. And you wanna take a piece of rebar or something metal and round. I'm probably gonna use one of my extensions that I have dedicated to this job. And you wanna put it on top. And then with the hammer, you wanna get the rebar. So that's why it's always good with two people versus one. But I think I'm actually gonna use an extension and not this piece of rebar because I want something smooth so it rounds out nice and smooth. And then for the smaller, finer details, we do have the, uh, what's it, ball point hammer? Is that what it's called? Ball ping. Ball ping hammer. We got the ball ping hammer, there you go. So we're rounding out the smaller details. So we're gonna get started and then uh, see if it fixes it. All right guys, so not exactly scientific, but as you can see, you see where we beat it in. We had to beat it off a little bit right in here. Yeah, I kind of went to town on it. And that's literally like what's rubbing. So we're about to test fit underneath, Let's see if it's any closer, and uh, go from there. We just don't want to put it on and take the exhaust off, and it becomes like we do this like 12,000 times, so let's check clearance, you know? Let's get underneath there. It's still nice and slow, yeah. Sucker's clearing all the way around, especially right here where we were talking about. That's the important part. This is much tighter. Here. Yeah. All right, as you guys can see, if you can remember compared to the last time, I can fit almost uh, a couple fingers in there now. So we cleared it. Now we're just gonna put the rest of the exhaust on, and then go for that test drive. So let's let's go. And then burgers. <laughs> and burgers. And then cheeseburgers. Cheeseburgers. All right, we gotta fix this other clean. All right guys, for the most part, it looks like we solved the issue, that little rattle. Uh, we still feel it a little bit. Maybe we didn't beat that pipe in enough. That sounded kind of dirty. <laughs> Maybe we didn't uh, move the pipe enough, the uh, exhaust. Uh, but for the most part, uh, she's behaving. So on the way back, we're gonna take a longer way home and see if it still does it. All right, so now that we fixed it, we're gonna go for a fun ride. Everybody tagged along this time. Yeah, I usually don't drive. I 
this dude. I think uh, for the most part it's fixed, right? I mean, I think so. I mean, I'm not hearing the rattle or feeling the rattle. Just needed to find adjustment tool. Hey, this means something. Another thing or two. I've seen the thing or two. All right, guys. So we fixed it. Now, Ty. I don't know if you want to tell people or not, but why do why was it so important that we fixed that rattle? What do you mean? Because I'm selling it? Yeah. Oh yeah, because I'm selling it. Yeah, because I have a buyer for it, and I just wanted to make sure it was everything was good to go on it, and no nothing nothing wrong with it. That's how I got it, so that's how I want to send it off. Yep. So the Cadillac uh, days are over. So hopefully this buyer comes through and picks this up, but it doesn't mean that he's done. In fact, he's got another project that he wants to pick up and we already got tires for it. You know tires, these are the Falcon RT 615K Plus, some 200 tread wear tires for autocrossing. So I don't know if you want to tell him what kind of car we're looking at or if you just want to wait. We'll wait, we'll see. We'll see if it happens. So it'll be something neat, something pretty neat. All but right. Not, not this neat, but. <laughs> and then for you guys wondering, we also cleaned up the shop a little bit because right in this area, we're going to tear the Ram apart. With it being so big, I wanted to be able to have a lot of room because you know we got to do the flip kit on the rear axle and lower it, and we got to do all the front suspension. I got to replace a lot of parts on it, so that's going to be a lot of work as well. So once those parts arrive, we're going to start tearing that apart. So, so that's it for today's video, guys. We fixed the Cadillac. That's ready to go. Clean up the shop, getting ready to lower that thing, and actually work on Ashley's Infinity. And I already got some tires for the next project. So until next time, guys. Peace out. Good boy. Good boy. Shot puppy. Shot puppy. <laughs>